files come in many types. The word file originally meant a wire used for displaying documents. Filing cabinets came much later, and then the digital version. Files on a computer can be manipulated with programs. The contents could be text written by humans, or readings that come in from sensors. In C, there are three basics for getting file contents and processing them. First, a bit like this pen, C uses pointers to track the place it's reading. This special kind of pointer is just for files. Second, again like a book, you have to open the file. Do your processing, and third, always close the file. Let's try using Paisa online. This program sets up the three basics, but gives an error. The program's looking for a file that's not there. So let's make it. Use the plus tab to add the file count1.txt. This is what we're going to count the characters and lines of. While we're here, let's add a few more files to check that spaces are counted, that we can mix numbers and letters, addresses with lots of capitals, and files with blank lines. Going back to the first tab, the program now runs but gives no output. To calculate size, we'll use the length function defined in string.h and set up an array for reading characters and two variables. Then this standard code should be good. Run the program and change the name of the file in fopen to check all the input that we prepared. The program looks good, but let's check the exact meaning of this number, 66. This allows for a maximum line size of 64 characters, plus a return if there is one, and then the null character that fgets adds automatically. When the file ends, fgets is null ending the loop.